City Manager Shelly Dickstein says they are now digging into all the documents on their end. And despite that process, Dickstein disagrees with the statement that the city has a culture of corruption. Two News reporter Judith Rotana talked with an expert on government contracts for a better perspective on what could come. Dayton City Manager says the city has already brought on legal counsel to conduct their own investigation. I sat down with the Cedarville University professor to ask what that investigation could look like. He says corruption is unfortunately common at the local level. There is um, anger, there's frustration, there is abject sadness. City Manager Shelley Dickstein says the city is in the midst of a thorough investigation of its employees, processes, and project contracts. Even those that are on calendar tomorrow uh, to evaluate whether we need to pull bids. Cedarville professor Mark Clausen used to approve contracts at the state level. When the contract was related to somebody who was related to a state official, uh, I was suspicious and it raised red flags for me and I always said, uh, let's hold this one back. While he's not any way related to the current indictments, Clausen explained what city officials could be looking for. They're going to have to determine whether the, one of their officials or their employees has been involved in this. And the federal prosecutors did say there may be more indictments coming down. He says sorting out the fair contracts could be tricky. How are you going to prove that in return for soliciting something you got a favor? Or was this just a natural uh, outgrowth? Was, would, this, would these contracts have been awarded anyway? While cities lean towards the least expensive bid, a more expensive of bid can be chosen if it meets the needs of the project. Which could raise a red flag with somebody else, but maybe not. It all depends. Clausen expects federal prosecutors to be aggressive in closing this case. I can see this from being a relatively easy case to prosecute. Professor Clausen says at some point the city may have to defend itself in this case, but based on his knowledge, he believes future charges may target individuals rather than the city. Judith Hathana, 2 News, working for you.